Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new storyline Theob card, Theob card to review today. Um, so obviously this is the card that people probably want the least from the level 15 cards, but I do try to get all three of the cards as much as I possibly can. So um, the other two guys said that they're working towards Bakambu car, Bakambu's card and Duncan's card. So whenever they get that, then I will do the review for it. I think they might get it by Friday, to be honest, but we'll see what's up. But for now, we have Theob's card. We'll call him Theob for the sake of the review. Uh, we're taking a look at someone who is 5'10 with medium, medium work rates, left footed with four star skills and a four star weak foot. Uh, in regards to player traits, he does actually have the finesse shot trait, which I remember from that one video where I was actually uh, checking out all of these storyline cards. He's got 90 acceleration with 94 sprint speed, which is good for base card stats. Shooting is at an 84 for finishing at 82 shot power while having 76 composure at 83 attacking positioning. So we're going to be giving him the finisher chemistry style. I was kind of debating, I don't know, man, because for me personally, I feel like when you can't really fix the base characteristics of someone's dribbling, giving them a dead eye so that their attacking positioning is better, their finishing is better, and their shot power is better. I feel like that's mostly ideal because you would just have to compensate uh, for the dribbling not necessarily being up to par. I was thinking dead eye. I was also thinking a marksman chemistry style. But for the sake of the review, I think the finisher definitely makes the most sense because I want to see if I can fix uh, his dribbling as much as I possibly can. And if we can't, then we just use a different chemistry style. So it's one of the chemistry styles I actually have to... Oh, there it is. Uh, I was going to say I had to go buy it, but uh, I don't have to buy it. So with Theub's card, guys, with the finisher chemistry style, we're going to be boosting the shooting and the dribbling on the card. He actually does have uh, some pretty good passing characteristics. He's got 80 stamina. Uh, for me personally, because this card is a medium, medium work rate of player, I do mostly see him being played through the middle positions because medium, medium is a very strange work rate to have on the sides, in my opinion. But uh, we're definitely going to be trying him out on the right side anyways as well. I'm going to be mostly using him as a cam and as a right attacking mid uh, just to see if I can utilize his finesse shot trait as much as possible, depending on the situation of the game, of course, right? But um, I do think it's very important that you boost the shot power and the finishing as much as possible for you to be able to fully utilize uh, that finesse shot as much as possible too. Uh, the only thing that's off with his dribbling right now from the boost that we're going to be giving him is going to be the 78 reactions. He has an average body type as well in game, so we're going to see what that's like um, considering the dribbling stats that he has. And then last but not least, he has 92 strength. So the fact that he has 92 strength suggests that his body type might be above an average, but we'll see what's up, right? Uh, my boy Paul put together a nice little team for me over here. This guy's an absolute monster. I love him to death. Um, just, just like everybody else, to be honest. You guys help me out a lot with these player views, and uh, you guys are the best for that. But let's see what we got. So Anzu Fati, no. We'll put Anzu Fati on that left side of Sadio Mane playing through the middle, and Theub off to the right side for now. Yeah, come back in the fence, and then these guys. I could I could do like balance for Torres actually. Yeah, because Torres actually has really good attacking AI, so I don't really have to like worry about that too much with a card like this. Uh, I just want to see if Theub actually like cuts inside and does all that fun stuff through the middle. Maybe goes for the finesse shot. Uh, no, I'll switch Theub to the middle first, and then we'll we'll switch him to the right side afterwards. We'll use Sadio Mane there. We'll use Sadio Mane on the left side with Anzu Fati. Excuse me, off to the right. That's going to be for the attacking tactic. Cool. We'll get into a game. We'll see how this card plays. There are going to be a few player that, players that are totally going to unlock this Theob card for whatever reason they have, right? Obviously, he's from Senegal, so if you're making a Senegalese team or something, it's a couple of cool things to work with there because obviously Mane and Theob playing for the national team. Um, you know, maybe people, people are doing it for the uh, sentimental value or they just want to build a certain League One team. You know, people have their own reasons for doing different things, right? So... Uh, yeah, let's get into a game and see how he plays. <sighs> okay, let's see how he dribbles in the game. I like using Paul's teams, man. They're they're fun to use. <laughs> I really just wanted to try a nice little dink pass right there with you. And to be honest, he did okay, but obviously our striker is offside right there. Hmm, pretty aggressive in that area right there, actually, which is pretty cool. To be fair, guys, this guy 
I mean, he could be really underrated, to be honest with you, because his dribbling right there was actually pretty solid and responsive. And then obviously the fact that we give him the finisher chemistry style to boost his shot power and finishing as much as possible, he's able to uh, score a really nice finesse shot angle right there. We do the, uh, the fake shot to just get that very specific angle without having to do some other uh, sort of touch and whatnot. This card could be actually really over, uh, not overrated, underrated, to be honest with you. A card that surprised me too was uh, Huang's card when I first reviewed him. Shot across goal. Oof. Yeah, his dribbling is um, his dribbling is better than I thought it would be. I think that's the biggest thing that I have to mention so far. It's definitely way better than I thought it would be. You feel the reactions, but he's actually pretty responsive, which is pretty decent. I thought he would feel way heavier if I'm being completely honest with you guys. That's why you do the reviews, man. Sometimes you have that surprise factor with players, you know? Some of them are very obvious to read, but then some of them, you, I mean, you still have to try out most of them because they surprise you sometimes. It doesn't happen often, but from time to time it does. Like, you could even see in a situation like that that his close control dribbling was really nice. Yeah, see, he does, like, things quickly, you know? Yeah, the reactions is definitely noticeable, but like his body type and dribbling, uh, it's it's definitely way better than I thought it would be. 100%. He doesn't sway so much, you know? Like, uh, not a lot of players actually do this in this game. The attacking AI is actually solid too in the cam position. I like it. Medium, medium work rates work, uh, work pretty nicely there, to be honest. It's not always a, a bad thing. Yeah, it's just the reactions. That's it. The reactions you will you will notice for really tight situations like that. I think a card like this could be really fun to use in the sides as well. Maybe I don't I don't know if his work rates will influence him that much in regards to being a bad card to use there. Yeah, aggressive attacking AI in those areas there. Not bad. Yeah, he does make those forward run, guys. I, You know what? This card, he might be alright to use on the sides, to be honest. Yeah, so like I said, guys, um, when it comes to his dribbling, it's really just the reaction times that affects the card. Which, obviously, is a big deal, because reaction times, it does influence how, you know, responsive a player is in the game. But, like I said, his body type to dribbling isn't actually that bad. It's actually pretty solid. You can see that his original positions here is right mid... Uh, Left mid, right wing. To be honest, this definitely makes a lot of sense for how he's performing in game so far. I want to try him out in the right attacking mid position this time. I'm curious to see how he plays there because in the cam position, he's actually incredibly usable there. I still don't think I'd choose this card over the options, but like I always like to review everybody because you know it's like if if there was any sort of Portuguese player over Duncan, like I would have done the card right. So. Oof, I wanted to work that finesse shot angle there with with the uh, Those finesse shots are really inconsistent. Like, they either hit them really nicely or they don't. It's usually more when they're on the right side, kind of cutting through the middle, that they hit them more often, you know? So you see that attacking AI that Theob does right there? So you see how he just runs in a straight line? That's not always a bad thing, right? So... When players have attacking AI like this, it's really ideal to have players that utilize middle space really, really well when your left and right attacking mids do that because what they do, right, and Anzu Fati and Theub are very good examples of this, is that they actually make the fullbacks always occupy them. So when this happens, uh, it actually creates more space for you through the middle because the fullbacks never want to go through the middle uh, because they're always being occupied through the sides. Uh, but sometimes it depends on the situation of your team. Like sometimes you'll have a striker or a cam that uh, will influence the way that the guys on the sides move for sure. But most of the times, um, if a player has like very basic attacking AI on the sides like Fiyub does and um, Anzu Fati, Again, you could definitely work with that space through the middle. Let's try a finesse shot from a crazy angle. Oh, am I going to score a shot like that? I mean, that, that do be FIFA, though. That do be FIFA. Um, yeah, like, I'll give you guys a really example. Like, right now on my main team, I have 
uh, Dembele and Anzu Fati, and they kind of have that generic attacking on the sides, in my opinion. Everything's all personal preference. Um, but when I have João Felix and Rashford playing through the middle, guys that utilize empty space through the middle really nicely. João Felix mostly in the cam position. I hate him in striker. Um, you know, they just they just create that type of space through the middle. So it just really depends on how your team is set up for certain stuff like this, right? Like, you can kind of see that the space opens up here. I could do that. Go for a shot, score the opportunity, right? So it's not always terrible to have players that just stay unbalanced uh, playing in those positions. Now, if you want to fix that and you want them to cut inside more often, you want them to move freely, you know, that's when you give them the free roam instruction to fix that certain attacking AI that the players have, right? So, but it's very obvious when they move a certain way in those areas, you know? All right, guys, so final verdict on this Theo card. So in my opinion, this card's actually not that bad. So if you guys are getting him for fun, whether it's, uh, you know, you want to make like a Senegalese team or you want to make some sort of League One team with, you know, the nationality, whatever it is that you want to work with, he's actually not that bad, guys, right? So for me personally, if I were to use him in a team, left and right attacking mid will really depend on the rest of the attacking players that you have in your team, uh, unless you want to use him on a free roam. But a card like this, it definitely makes more sense to use him in that left mid, right mid position, cam position, as well as the right wing position. I wouldn't use him as a left winger because left wing wingers the way that they kind of play uh he's gonna cut inside on his right foot and i feel like you're not gonna be able to fully utilize that left foot of his uh to use that finesse shot because the shot power and finishing when you get those right angles is actually quite solid for this card right so um Left mid because of those driven crosses, you know, if it's on his left foot to cross in, he'll be perfectly fine. And if he ever does cut inside and gets in behind, like is, you know, the usual instructions that people use for the 442 and stuff, um, I, I think he'll be perfectly fine for that as well. I think the card's uh, definitely better than I thought it would be. I wouldn't say he's like overpowered, nothing like that, obviously, but um, he's pretty cool to use, man. I do think the medium, medium work rates affects that unique attacking AI on the sides, but again, it really just depends on how the two middle players you're using in the cam and striker position, how they're moving, uh, which dictates how Fiub is going to move as well. But uh, yeah, it's not a bad card, guys. If you guys get him for a sentimental value or you want to make a fun team, he's really, really not that bad. The only thing that was genuinely off with him was the reactions and composure, right? Reactions and composure, both of those together are noticeable on the card, but body type to dribbling wasn't actually that bad. It was just those two things that made him like, you know, off balance in those really tight situations where defenders kind of like... Um, you know, putting pressure on him and stuff. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review. If you guys want to get him for fun, be my guest, man. He's not he's not as he's not as terrible as I thought he would be, but I still think that people are going to choose the other two options for sure. But um yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.